reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different working, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is giving for some benefit. As a body is one, Lord is had many parts, and all the parts of the body, those many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all and one from one your celestial home shed a ray of life divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best, you the source most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I sent you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to God, Jesus Christ. First of all, I'm going to say thank you for this privilege and being able to join you in this uh, celebration. I guess the most important is to connect the Feast of the Pentecost with the activities or the special occasion we have of the tree, of the vows of the tree. But before that I say I thank because, well, our tree of us, Father Ali should have been the one giving the homily, no? Since he was the one who gave the retreat. But I think it's too late to tell him. On the other hand, the tree, Three, no? There are three of them making their vows. Three is a very special number in the Bible, holy number. So it's a very special day also today, the Holy Spirit's day, birthday of the church. And so three is a very special symbolic number for us who are here today. In this feast of the, what we are having in Pentecost, there are actually two feasts during the Jewish time. The first one was called Pisak, which was the Seven times seven. Seven weeks or seven days. So together, 49 days. That was the celebration that they have for the Passover. Wherein the Jews were delivered from the hands of the, or the slavery of Egypt. And the second part, the last part is the Pentecost. We call it Shavuot. Which is the day when the community is going to gather together and they will, first of all, bring all knowledge of the tradition of the religious life. Are you resolved to enter the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Operation? After studying the Constitution and the Apostolate of the Sisters, I have resolved to enter the congregation. As a sign of your consecration, are you resolved to wear the habit of the sisters of St. Joseph of the Operation in a respectful manner. With the heart of God, I am resolved to wear the habit of the sisters 
yourself to wait and honor it. So we'll have the blessing. Let us pray. Oh God, look on your children who now kneel before you. Bless his habits and crosses which they desire to wear as a sign of their consecration to you. Protect and guide them by your grace to live as a person totally given to you so that they may bear witness to the way of life. And we ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Mary sang when Here I am Lord, for you have called me. Sister Jeremy, thank you, Mir. Here I am Lord, for you have called me. Sister Teresa, Labang Janan. Here I am Lord, for you have called me. Lord, you have called Sister Mary sang when Sister Jeremy, thank you, Mir. And Sister Teresa, Labang Janan. Therefore, they now approach your altar in the midst of the people here assembled. Sisters, what do you ask from God and His Church? Counting on the love and grace of God, I ask to follow Christ in the apostolic religious life, in the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition. Is it your own will that you have watched the altar of the Lord? Yes, it is my own free will. So thanks be to God. God. I express myself like clapping your hands. <laughs> Sisters, you have been consecrated by water and by the Spirit on the day of your baptism. Are you willing, by your religious profession, to deepen this consecration? Trusting in the Holy Spirit, yes, I am willing. In your desire to follow Christ perfectly, are you willing, by the vow of poverty, to be truly poor in order to enter into the moment of the incarnation of the Son of God, who came to share our human condition? By the vow of obedience, to place your life in the hands of the Father, assured the divine providence will always assist you. With the vow of chastity for the kingdom, to make the Lord a total gift of your life. Trusting in the Holy Spirit, yes, I am willing. By the consecration to diverse works of charity, according to the spirit of the congregation, of the sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition, are you willing to live with Christ and be in communion with others to witness to the Gospel and accomplish the work for which this institute has been founded? Trusting in the Holy Spirit, yes, I am willing. Since that is your desire, let us ask the Lord to strengthen in you this call so that you can fulfill your commitment and be an authentic sign of His kingdom. Lord, bless Sister Mary Ping Pan, Sister Genevieve Cheng Yi Mint, and Sister Teresa Lavang Lia Nam, and fill them with your grace, so that they will know how to love you with all their hearts, with all their souls, and with all their strength. Make of them a united body in Christ, to radiate your love and see your glory, for you are God forever and ever. Divine Majesty into the hands of Sister Gabriel Samkuk, Provincial Council, the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity for one year. In the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition, according to the constitutions and the spirit of the Institute. Moreover, I consecrate myself to the different works of charity according to that same spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Almighty and eternal God, I insist in everything in me, and animated by your grace and fortified by your love, made to your divine ministry, into the hands of Sister Gabriel Sanko, provincial counselor, the bounds of poverty, obedience, and chastity for one year. In the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition, according to the Constitution and the spirit of the Institute, moreover, I consecrate myself to the different words of charity, according to the same spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, high sister Teresa Lavanzana, animated by your grace and fortified by your love, make to your divine majesty into the hands of Sister Gabriel Sanku, provincial counselor, the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity for one year. In the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition, according to the constitutions and the spirit of the Institute. Moreover, I consecrate myself to the different works of charity according to the same spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Sister Mary St. Paul, Sister Janami Peguine, and Sister Teresa Devan Jana, it is with great joy that the congregation welcomes you, and I, in the name of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition, receive these vows which you have just pronounced. Thanks be to God. At this point, the three sisters will receive the crosses from the celebrant as a sign of their consecration to God and His Church. Then the crosses shall be worn by our provision counselor, sisters Gabriel Sanko. Sister Mary, receive the cross of Christ, sign of your consecration to Him and to His Church. We remind you from now on that you belong to Him may be a sign of your love for your divine spouse. Sister Genevieve, receive this cross of Christ, a sign of your consecration to Him and to His Church. We remind you from now on that you belong to Him, and it be a sign of your love for your divine spouse. Sister Teresa, receive the cross of Christ, sign of your consecration to Him and to His Church. May it remind you from now on that you belong to Him, may it be a sign of your love for your divine spouse. signing the commitment as a promise to serve the Lord through the congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Apparition. <laughs> 